in. He'll call in. Uh, you know, we should go go to right now anyway. This is a good time to go to Rod from Bayside, uh, our phony phone call extraordinaire. Rod, you there? Yeah, what's up, guys? Hey, man. Um, hey, uh, sorry, I got a little bone to say with you. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Uh, I seem to be the only uh, regular caller who doesn't have your phone number to give you bit ideas. Yeah, let's keep it that way, Rob. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't care. I love this. I love what people are. You know, uh, you know why those people have my phone number? Because I'm scared I'm, of them. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. No, I'm scared of them. I, you, you get afraid that people are going to get violent and go, uh, give me your phone number or else. How do you think the lotto has it? <laughs> no. I don't know. I you got, you got food poisoning? I hope nobody tongue punches his fuck box tonight. <laughs> <laughs> With the first tongue punching of the five box. And that's exactly why you don't have the number, Rod. No, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. No, I was just... Now, who did you get? Someone called me up during the break and said our elongated break that you got Steve Summers? Yeah, I got Steve Summers and I also got Francesca again. Now, do we have them on tape, Danny? Yes. All right, so, okay. Let's start with Steve Summers and we'll end with Francesca. Now, do you know any, anything about this guy, Brent, our guy Rod from Bayside? No. You know Mike Francesa? Absolutely. Steve Summers is the overnight guy at WFAN. Oh, right. I think and I've heard this. Francesca is the legendary guy we all know. Like, you know, the dog, he's a mutter, he, he runs good in the mud. He, 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 has a, he has a jockey who rides him named Chino. They call him Chop Chop because he's real strong with the whip. <laughs> Takes himself way too seriously. So right. he, but Francesca, I'm a big fan of. Right. And I don't want to get the uh, give people the wrong assumption that uh, this is <laughs> something I'm I'm making Rod do. But Rod is very funny. So he he prank calls Francesca, which is great because Francesca right. just yells at him. But Steve Summers, who's the overnight guy, and about I'm going to say conservatively 123 years old, <laughs> doesn't know what's going on ever. So we'll start with your uh, phony phone call to Summers. All right. All right. Here we go. Or is uh, calling from Staten Island. Lamar, you're on the van in New York City. What's happening? Smooth. Uh, it's an honor to speak to you, brother. Oh, same here, Lamar, and happy holidays the whole thing. And a very happy holiday to you, too. What's going on? What can you say? Um, I, I want to talk about this Dickie trade. Okay. Um, I think the Mets should have gone for the other minor league catcher, Dan Filato, on the Tuscaloosa Turk Cutters. <laughs> it would pretty much be R.A. Dickey or I Heart Dickey. Oh, <laughs> you're gone. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. You know, first of all, what? You don't think we've heard this kind of stuff before? We haven't been there. It's a waste of time. You're waiting on hold. You take time from somebody else. It's not funny to begin with the whole thing. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> the Tuscaloosa Turd Cutters? <laughs> Dan, are you the manager of the Tuscaloosa Turd Cutters? No. <laughs> I'm Art Dickey. <laughs> I know it's immature, but... Uh, <laughs> listen, Rod, uh, we're going to play your Francesca thing later in the show because our guest Trevor called, but uh, that's, that's good stuff. Isolate him saying Tuscaloosa turn cutters, please, so we can play that whenever. <laughs> All right, Rod, we'll go back to Francesca, and uh, I'll, you know what? Uh, uh, get, give your number to the twins, and then I'll call you with my number, you fruit. All right. All right. Don't, don't cry over spilled milk here. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, Brent, why don't you welcome our next guest here? Trevor Price on with us, the uh,